so now if I go on to URL which is get products and since we are already running a server on port 3000 so localhost 3000 uh, slash get products we should be able to see all of these products okay so let's say get products and if I search that you can see that it's returning all of our products in JSON format you have the product ID uh, product name and um, the price and it's got all of the images etc okay you can can see that you've got the images as, as well so all we have to do is just access this URL into the onto the front end and just display all of the products okay so what we'll do is we'll go and create a page called products in fact create a component called products products const product is equal to let's say dev this will be product and this will take props and just to export default product so we need to fetch the request from that URL so what we're going to do is we'll go to index.js and next.js provides us with a method called get initial props so we can say index dot get initial props is equal to okay and we're going to use async await and next yes also provides us isomorphic unfetch and gives us fetch to fetch the data so we need to install that as well let's do that npm install isomorphic unfetch okay so I'll just import fetch from isomorphic unfetch okay so we'll say const data is equal to await fetch we're going to use the fetch method okay and we need the root URL so you need the configuration for the front end as well because the configuration that you see over here was for the node for the common JS module so we need a configuration for uh, our front end as well so we can create another file and we can call it woo Uh, client config.js and this is where we can define our information because we don't want to share the consumer key and consumer secret uh, in the front end if we keep that information there then you know that can be hackable so let's say const client config is equal to and we need the site URL And we'll say HTTP local host 3000. Okay. And we'll just do export default client config. And we'll just import that inside of index.js. So let's say client config is equal to client config from. So I'll just go outside of the directory and just say client client config. Okay. So we'll use backtick and we'll say client config. And then remember we need to use get products URL to get the products. So this is going to give me a promise. So we need to resolve that promise and we can say uh, product products data is equal to await and then data data dot json
so it's better we just rename this as res okay and then whatever you return from this function will be available as props to your component so we can return uh, products okay so products and then products data right so get initial props runs both on the client side as well as the server side so if you just do a console log props over here you will see the co same console both in server side as well as client side so I'll just show that to you props okay we need to say client config dot site you are to miss that okay let's refresh okay now you can see all of the data the product data that you can see uh, in your console on your terminal and if you go and do an inspect element in the browser you'll be able to see the data in the console in browser as well so this function basically runs both sites on the client side as well as the server side okay so since you've got the products all you have to do is just uh, display all the products you can see we've got all of the products all of the name etc so what we can do is we can use the image uh, of the WooCommerce products and we can use the bootstrap card over here so we can just take this card bootstrap card let's say okay we'll just copy the whole thing and then we'll just cut it okay so inside of the products we can display this okay so we'll paste it here and we need the card header we need the card body we need the image and we don't need anything else so we can get rid of the rest of the things okay and for image we can get rid of the source for now we can say in the alt we can say product image okay and then for source we'll keep it empty for now okay so what's going to happen is since we have uh, the data the product data available in props all we have to do is just display all of the data okay so we can include this component we can import this component products so instead of hello world we can say product okay and we can pass it as props so we can say product in fact i think we need to loop through right because there are many products so we will have this data available in props dot product so if we have a look we have it available inside products okay so we can pull it off using object destructuring so we can say products from props okay and then what we can do is we can go ahead and uh, loop through these okay so we can first check if it's got the data inside of it so we can say products dot length if it has the data then go ahead loop through okay otherwise don't display anything right so over here we can say products dot map so we can use the map method to map through the products and this will give me a single product and then we can just display the product component and we can pass product as props okay so since we have product received as props we can pull this off so first i'll take this lab this set of curly braces and then just return this okay and we can pull product off so we can say product is equal to props dot product or we can just say like this okay so now what all do we have so what we can do is to be able to see what's inside of this we can say we've got the id so we don't need the id what else do we have we need the title so do we have title 
okay so okay let's do this let's just go to and check what we have so i think we should have product name if i'm not wrong let's have a look and, and yeah we have got product name so we can say instead of header we can say product dot name okay and then we would need the product image so let's have a look do we have image here we don't have image here let's look at this one images right what about the top one does it have images yeah, it has images as well. Okay, so images and the, and then the first item. So we'll display the first item from images. So for the source, we need the URL. So you can see that URL is inside of source. So this is going to be product dot images, and you want the zeroth element, and then dot name. No, sorry, source not source so this will give me the source which is the url of the product okay and then we would need a uh, price product price so we can mention price over here we can take the body out here okay so we should have that in price So we can say product dot price. Okay, so let's have a look. What do we get? We'll say okay. So there are a couple more things we need to do. Uh, first thing is we don't need this extra div. We get rid of that. Okay, and then we need a key over here a unique key so we have the ID product ID available so we can say product dot ID to get the product ID and then we can remove this style because it won't accept this style right now we ha don't have the appropriate loader for that okay and uh, I think that's about it so let's have a look let's go and refresh okay I think it must be building up right now so let's have a look let's refresh okay so while it's building up since you can see that now we've got all our products of course they don't look good yet because we have to add the styles to them but yes you can you can get the idea you've got all of the products being listed over here okay now in order for us to use css uh, like if you want to use own, our own css we can use the next css okay so there's an npm package called next css okay this one we just need to install that 